The country has been shocked and saddened by the news out of Miami, Florida that we've been reporting on. To see a condominium building collapse and to hear about the loss of life, it makes us wonder, can something like that happen here in Hawaii and how can we prevent it? Damian Enright, president of Structural Systems Incorporated, is back with us this morning to discuss the Miami collapse. And we know that your company, of course, specializes in structural repairs to buildings and fixings of this type of cracking that was seen on the towers. So since more reports are coming out that the collapse was due to concrete cracks within the structure, can you explain what that means and how exactly that happens? Uh, definitely. Well, great to see you and thank you for having me back. Uh, I know we initially wanted to talk about being proactive and protecting our buildings from the storms, but that event in Miami, I think was really eye-opening for a lot of us here in Hawaii because our environments are so similar. You know, both, both communities were right on the ocean getting hit with rains and storms and salts, you know, every storm season, every hurricane season, flooding in our low-lying areas. When you get all that salt and that moisture permeating into concrete year after year after year, it starts to attack that rebar, that steel inside. And when that steel expands and corrodes, it'll crack. And the more concrete cracks, no matter what type of concrete you have, the more it cracks, the weaker it gets. And unfortunately, that's what we saw that happened over there. Negligence, poor maintenance, lack of repair strategies, crack concrete that just got weaker and weaker over time. And when you talk about that, you know, the, the moisture in the air, the salt in the air as well from being next to the sea, it sounds a lot like Hawaii. So what's the likelihood that an event like that could happen here in the islands? Well, something of that magnitude is, is definitely very rare and unlikely. I would not say it's impossible. It takes the perfect storm structurally, so to speak, for that to happen. Years and years of negligence, no maintenance, no repairs, no waterproofing, no paint, no protection on these big structural members. And that just breaks down the concrete over the years. Um, I think what Hawaii building owners and HOA members should think about is smaller specific structural concerns that we see here in Hawaii. Like all over town, we see chunks of concrete falling off buildings. We see guardrails that are loose, wobbly, about to fall off, or actually accidents happening with our guardrails. That's what we should focus on. Not so much worry about these big, huge, met, uh, huge collapses, but the smaller, more pinpointable items that we can fix and be on top of now, that will prevent the big collapse, the big catastrophic event that we saw. Okay, and, and when it comes to taking care of those things, what should building owners and condo boards be doing to protect their residents as well as their structures? Sure, good question. So very first step would be to call a, a professional company like Structural Systems to come out, walk the site, and do what's called a condition survey. We'll look at all the columns, the grade beams, the lanai's, the walkways, your parking structure. And hopefully you don't have any, but if you do have structural defects, we'll note them, we'll report on them, and we'll give you a recommendation on how to fix those issues. And then from there, it's really in the board's hands to be proactive and, and go the next step. That building board membership in Miami. They didn't do anything for years on that structural recommendation and that turned out to be catastrophic. And and in your opinion, what should the Miami condo then should have done or or any Hawaii condo severe concrete cracking? So what should they do to repair those issues to make the building safe? Sure, we'll definitely be proactive. Once you get that structural assessment, we see there's cracked concrete. We want to take the load off those bad failing cracked members. Uh, what, if you have a tower, a, a high-rise tower right next to a pool deck and the pool deck is cracking, you're putting a lot of weight, a lot of stress on that pool deck, on those crack members. And so if one thing goes, a house of cards happen, and that's what happened in Florida. So we want to take the load off those failing members with shoring systems that are engineered. Then from there, we can go in there and do our repairs. We'll take out that bad concrete, clean up the rebar, clean off the rust. And then we'll patch back with good quality materials. And the most important thing, once all those repairs are done that so many boards neglect to do, is waterproof and protect the concrete. Protect those investments, those repairs that were just made, so that they'll last many, many years, if not decades.
Right, and and we were hearing reports as well that many residents had voiced their concerns, seeing some of the cracks. So for those who are now wanting to get on top of it for their buildings here in Hawaii or want to make sure, of course, that their buildings are safe, where can they find you? Because again, you guys are the ones that can help to prevent this. What's the website? Where can we find you? Yeah, so we're local out of Sand Island and been here in Hawaii for 36 years, helping AOA, AOs with these exact type of problems www.ssihawaii.com. Okay, wonderful. Make sure you check them out. And again, this is something that can be prevented. Don't put it off because as we saw, destruction can occur. So make sure you contact Structural Systems. We'll have a link to their website as well at kh12.com. But thank you so much, Damien, for joining us this morning and for all those great details. Thank you for having me.